All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Rafi Chowdhury here from rafichowdhury.com. Um, presenting you guys with another video answering some a very common question that's been coming up lately. A ton of people are ask, um, asking about this, and so it might make sense for me to create a small video and just kind of share um, what I've been learning about this topic. And uh, the topic, obviously, is for today is how to rank uh, your videos on YouTube and what are some ranking metrics people are looking at and things of that nature and we're going to discuss a little bit in depth about that but before we proceed any further let's make sure that we are actually live this is a new software that I've been using called BeLive.tv <clears throat> um, those of you guys who are um, who are new to it uh, it's a very awesome software it lets you do like split screen shares and things of that nature um, you can do interviews with people you can do just a solo uh, you know, like type of a broadcast like I'm doing right now. And you can kind of like see all the comments and stuff like that people make on your videos as well while you do it. It's kind of cool. So, looks like I am live. <clears throat> so, how do you rank your views videos on YouTube? There are some ways that you can optimize your chances of being able to rank your videos. Uh, generally, Think about it this way. In general, YouTube, Google, and these search engines love content that helps a lot of people, right? That should be your first, first, um, that's basically the first tip is just create something that absolutely just thoroughly and clearly answers every single question on that given topic. And try your best to create content that's actually helpful, right? So how do you think about what type of content to create? Step one that you have to start with is figuring out what your audience is actually searching for, right? That's probably the biggest mistake most YouTube beginner YouTube uh, uh, users um, create or make is that they create content around topics and things like that that nobody's searching for. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that anything that you're creating content around that you thoroughly research it and figured out what's the best uh, keyword that I can choose to create that content around. So once you've gotten your keyword, step two is to actually create content, right? So what does creating content mean? Well, it means thoroughly and, and just completely and with a lot of insights and in-depth analysis, just answering that question, whatever it is that you're trying to answer in that video, whatever message that you're trying to provide, try thoroughly covered that topic. And my recommendation is that your video is at least 10 minutes long because if you look at the top videos on any kind of niche, you'll notice that the top ranking ones are typically longer than 10 minutes. And, and the reason for that is again, the same reason why <coughs> longer blog posts rank in Google is because Google loves content that's very thorough, very engaging, and it's gonna be helping a ton of people out. And so when you create videos that are longer in length, they tend to also rank higher. Step number three is that I would recommend that you download a, an extension called TubeBuddy. And TubeBuddy is a very, very awesome extension. And what it'll, it's a Chrome extension. And what it'll allow you to do is see all the different tags that your competitors or like similar ranking videos or similar like videos in a similar space are using. So what you can do is you can basically use the software to kind of like copy over all of their tags into your video as well. Or you can actually use the tags that it suggests and put those in your video. And it's a very helpful feature um, or extension that helps you figure out what tags you need to include in your video. Uh, tip number four that I'm gonna give you guys is your video needs to have a really good title and a really good description. And what I mean by that is that your title needs to have your keyword near the beginning of the title and then something uh, Kind of that kind of you know explains the topic and something catchy at the in the end like must see or you won't believe what number three is or something like that that gets people to click it so having a really good title with the keyword near the beginning and also having a really good description my recommendation is your description should be at least 200 words long i think youtube lets you have descriptions as long as like 2500 words or something like that um but you should you should have a description at least uh 200 words long and try to use that um try to use those uh that keyword again throughout your description as much as you can 
All right, tip number five that I'm gonna give you guys is to have a really good thumbnail. Now your thumbnail doesn't necessarily always have to be something that you design or something that, um, you know, that's, um, what do you call it? Something that you like <clears throat> hire a professional graphic designer to do or something like that. But you do need to create a thumbnail that's gonna get people's attention, that's gonna make them wanna click it. And if you're not doing that, then you're again, missing out on all that um, <clears throat> action. Like, you know, if you're not getting the click, then doesn't, nobody will ever know how good or bad your video might be. So it's really important that you try to get the users in with a really good thumbnail that gets their attention, that makes them wanna click it. <clears throat> all right, tip number six is that you take all the content from your video, like what you're physically saying, and actually make a script of it and try to upload it as subtitles or video text as well. So you can people can see the text and the video content at the same time. And this really helps because a lot of people may not understand what you're saying. They may not be able to um, totally follow you, maybe too fast or something like that. And this will help all those people out. And at the same time, this will help out the search engines to know exactly what your video is saying and what's the content that's actually within that video. Now, speaking of that, here's something else that's interesting that you want to do is that you want to actually say your video at, at your actual keyword in within the video, preferably near the beginning of your video. And this also is used by Google and by YouTube and beat search engines as a metric that they can use to try to figure out what your video might be about. Uh, tip number seven that I'm going to share with you guys is that you build links, backlinks to your video just like you would for any kind of a blog post or something of that nature. And the reason for that <clears throat> is because just like, <clears throat> excuse me, orange juice, just like um, your blog post, um, the more websites that are actually linking or the more videos that are linking to your video, the more you know relevant and authoritative your video is going to appear to YouTube. And so sending some high quality backlinks from blogs and from other videos definitely, definitely can help your video rank a little bit higher than it would naturally would without the links. Tip number eight that I'm going to recommend for you guys is that, um, that you actually share your video on social media as well. And these social signals are going to be very, very important. Um, giving, you know, sh sharing your video on social media allows other people to see it, it gets shared, it get, you just, you know, you can tap into an audience base that you may not necessarily have on, on YouTube itself, and you may not get the traffic initially from YouTube, but if you do share it on social media, your chances of being able to get traffic to that video will be significantly higher, especially if you're just starting out. Tip number nine that I'm going to recommend for you guys is that you always tell your you know your audience and viewers to subscribe to your channel and put a link to your channel near the beginning or near the end of your description so people can actually opt into that channel just like with a website you know the high the more views your website has the more engagers it has the more subscribers it has the more likely that the video um, is going to be shown uh, and will rank higher in any kind of searches for any keywords related to that niche so you want to make sure that your videos are highly optimized, that you put the description, that you told people to share, you know, share and subscribe to your channel, that you keep your channel always active, always relevant, always producing video content, share it on social media, make the content really, really good, try to make it long, at least 10 minutes or more, have a good description, have good titles, have pretty good uh, thumbnails and things like that, and just make it a solid video. I'm not, suggest, I'm not saying that you need to make it absolutely professional, high quality with professional cameras and all this kind of stuff. Um, those are things that you can do as you grow as a channel. But when you're first starting out, I do think that it is important that you pick low competition keywords that have search volume. If nobody's looking for it and it's too hard to rank for, then you can create all the good content you want. But really, ultimately, you're not going to get the benefit from YouTube that you might be looking for. And why should you create videos on YouTube? Because it's a great way for you to amplima, uh, amplify your voice, your brand's voice, and your uh, expertise and reach an audience base that may be difficult or trickier to reach via Google and via social media. So that's what I would recommend. Okay, so Ashutosh Rai has a very interesting comment about playlists. And yeah, that's actually really important too, is that you want to add your videos 
uh, to certain playlists and things like that so that when somebody searches and finds one of your videos, it's gonna show up, it's gonna show some of your other related videos as well. So let's just say you create videos on uh, how, you know, fishing, like how to, how to become a better fisherman. You wanna maybe create a playlist called you know, fishing or something like that, and any video that you create related to that, you wanna go ahead and include those videos within that playlist. And so when someone searches fishing, finds your video, they're likely to see your related videos as well just because you put them all in the same playlist. So that's a great question, Ashutosh. If there's any other questions, you know, feel free to let me know um, after the video or during the video if you get a chance now. More than happy to answer your questions. I'm not. I am gonna be honest and, I'm, and say that I'm not quite exactly the world's expert on videos yet. It's, it's my newest platform that I'm really trying to make an impact in 2018. So I'm learning, and I hope that you know you guys will continue to learn alongside. And my biggest recommendation for you guys overall is that a lot of people that are in marketing, people that are in business, we tend to be very camera shy. I'm not really sure why, because personally, I like being on camera and talking to you guys and teaching you via videos. But again, a lot of people aren't, and I really highly would encourage you guys to start creating videos, um, because you know people don't like reading text anymore, and it's becoming a very saturated market. Uh, SEO is becoming very, very tricky to do, so a lot of people are focusing on getting traffic from sources like Facebook, Sources like you know display networks, you know Reddit and YouTube is a great way for right now for you to be able to get your brand message out there and across to your to your audience without having to write long detailed pieces of articles and content and things like that. Not that articles and ranks and content doesn't obviously text format doesn't rank well and doesn't bring value, but I am suggesting that this is a much more untapped strategy that you can st easily start implementing to build your brand on the internet today in 2018. Thank you guys again for joining me. I'll, I'll plan on making some more of these videos. Any questions that come up, you guys want me to make a video, leave it in the comments below. Next video, I, you know, I, I pretty much can tell you that I will definitely, definitely take your comments and suggestions into consideration when I think about my next topic, for my next video. Obviously, I'll do some keyword research in the comments as well to figure out if you know, people are actually looking for those. Um, but again, if you make me a suggestion, chances are you are looking for it, other people are looking for it too. And I'll be more than happy to research it and find out, you know, even if it's something that I don't know, and kind of answer those questions for you guys in this video format if this does help you. Thanks again, guys. <clears throat>